fire brigade. Yes, um, I'm standing on the main road and I can see it bellowing from behind the houses and like the whole street is like kind of covered in smoke. The London Fire Brigade responds to over 20,000 fires each year, caused by everything from a candle left burning to an electrical fault. Oh uh, yeah, can I have a fire brigade cars on fire? But more than ever, the brigade is being called to road traffic collisions. This year, they've attended four and a half thousand. Almost daily, specialist units are deployed to cut someone out of a car, as well as carrying out many other rescues. These units are strategically spread across London alongside conventional firefighting teams, ready to rush to an accident at a moment's notice. This unit in Battersea, South London, is run by Edric Kennedy McFoy. Being in peak condition is key for their job. Tom, he keeps on telling me, stop growing your biceps. These are just natural. I'll have these trained by, but they just grow. <laughs> you like that? Come on. All of London's 102 stations are equipped with gyms. We've got to make sure we're operationally ready for any eventuality that we may be faced with. Firefighter fit, always ready. <laughs> Firefighter McGuire. Sir. Firefighter McDonald. Sir. Firefighter O'Connor. Sir. Today, Edric's starting a shift with his Blue Watch team. Firefighter Tao. Firefighter Moyne. Sir. Blue Watch Christian. Two Jews for that. Station manager Dave Waterman is prepping his crew ready for the first call. Well, we've just come on duty, um, so we're testing all the equipment on the appliance, doing inventory, make sure everything's there. Everyone's getting ready. So uh, you see Dan over there. On the other side of the pump ladder there, you've got his twin brother, Mark. We sometimes mix the two of them up, quite obviously. That's Tom. Tom's the driver of the pump ladder. And you can see he's a fine figure, a man, look, look, you know, officer and a gentleman, commander in chief. Apart from that, he's already, he's already <laughs> to go, right. Edric heads up one of the three specialist rescue units serving London. This is it right here, the fire rescue unit. This is my baby. It isn't your normal pumping appliance, so we don't carry any water. But what we do have is specialist equipment. We specialise in road traffic collisions. We've got a boat for water rescues. We deal with everything, but obviously we've got no water um, media to extinguish any fire, because that's not what we do. Are we ready to lift? Yeah, good. Yeah? OK. Up on yellow. I'm a crew manager, so I'm in charge overseeing the incident. I set objectives, I make the plan, and you're also responsible for keeping your crew safe. Jamie, tell them what it's all about. Safely up, safely down. You're so cute. Safely up, <laughs> safely down, baby. It's a lovely tan you've got there, Chris. Yeah, I've been in Lanzarote for a couple of weeks. The brown of the better. <laughs> 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 the teams cover 12-hour shifts. They work and train together, and even take it in turns to cook. It's nice to come to work and, you know, not just love your job, but love the people you work with. Everything happens for a reason, and I believe that you are exactly where you, you're meant to be. So the fact that I'm here, for me, means I'm supposed to be here. <laughs>